Nat 20. Hello everyone, welcome to Nat 20. So, we're doing a bit of a different session today. It's going to be improv. Everyone here has made a completely random character to play with. Uh, and I have a nice random session ready for them. So, we're going to start by having everyone go around and just give a little summary of their character. Start with you, Gage. Yeah, so I'm Nifand. <coughs> I'm Nifand, the rock gnome rogue, who is a sailor and is neutral neutral alignment. And some of his like important background stuff is once he starts drinking, it's hard for him to stop. And the tavern brawl is a great way to get to know a new city. Basically, don't take me back to the city. <laughs> <laughs> Thank all, you, Gage. And you also, for being a rogue, he has redemption <laughs> art. Um, he would rather make a new friend than an enemy, and he believes there's always a spark of good in everyone. And for playing a halfling fighter, he's uh, proficient in mounted combat while wielding a maul. I just love that you're an assassin who's a mounted combat. Yeah. <laughs> One guy's just like walk and bring his groceries home, and there's just a halfling on a war horse. Like, yeah, go down! <laughs> yep. Oh, uh, I'm Clayton. Yeah, yeah, Clayton. And I'm playing... The sea elf paladin, Mia Gwyn, who was a girl. Uh, I grew up on a farm where I tilled the land, even though I'm a sea elf. Uh, and a tyrant tried to take over my farmland, so I trained all the other farmers how to use our tools as weapons, and we fought him back. And I have a, a hard weakness for hard drink. A weakness for hard drink, and if someone is in trouble, I will always help. And uh, I'm a protection paladin, so cool. Very cool. Duncan. I am playing Zanzian, the chaotic evil half-elf rogue, <laughs> pirate background. Um, let's see, my ideal, I'm a predator, and the other ships on the sea are my prey. I'm Look. loyal to my captain first, and everything else second, and my pride will probably lead to my destruction. So we'll see how it This definitely <laughs> sounds like a chaotic evil character. Yeah. yeah. Very it cool, worked out Duncan. pretty well, actually. Micah, yeah. The only thing wrong with mine is that I'm supposed to be in the sea, so... <laughs> Same, me too. It, 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 yeah, it's weird the three of us were, like, in the sea. Yeah. 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 So we've got two sailors, well, sailor, pirate, and then a CL. CL. Watch this never been... back campaign. Yeah. I just... Yeah. <laughs> I suffer from hydrophobia, so... <laughs> <laughs> That's why I didn't grow up in the sea. I have an entire galley that apparently we won't be able to use, so... <laughs> 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 Can it sail through the sky? <laughs> All right. Let the adventure the begins. Yeah. So, you four have just arrived at a brand new city named Evec Cordon. It is a magical city that floats on two rocks above the floor. Um, How high? Like a few inches? I would say about or? 200 feet. The first one is 200 feet above from the ground. Uh, there's a portal in the center that leads you up into the city. Uh, and then there's another one uh, to the west that is about 50 feet higher than that, and there are portals that lead to that. So everything here is sustained by magic. The city itself is beautiful. It's brass architecture. Uh, inside of the homes are typically wood framing. Um, it's a clockwork style. The city itself is, uh, well, the first level that you guys are on, Kurt, is more of um, a scummy place. It's low income, uh, it's where the poor live. It's also just the first level. You guys are currently in the center of all this, right by the portal as you've just arrived. You find that people that are walking around are mostly wearing ragged clothes. Uh, they look slightly depressed. They're just uh, mostly getting on with their day, doing their own thing. You guys are free to explore. There are four paths, one leading to the Northwest, Northeast, Southeast and Southwest. You said there are people who look sad? They all look sad, pretty much. They don't look like they have a lot of energy, as if they're really tired. I run up to the nearest one. Okay. Uh, you approach uh, a <coughs> slunched over about 60 year old human man who is wearing a simple, dirty tunic and uh, ripped up shorts. Uh, that's about it. He's very dirty, he's got hairy arms, hairy legs. Okay, I gotta try to make a girl voice. <laughs> Don't judge me. Uh, What's wrong? Well, what do you mean? You look sad. 
<laughs> you're committed to use that point for the rest of the session. Don't be jealous of my boy skills. <laughs> not sad, I'm just tired. Can I do anything to help? I should have picked different boys. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you're really that dedicated, I guess I'm just heading over to a tavern right now to uh, help load some supplies. A drink? No, personally, I don't drink. <laughs> okay. uh, that's long past my days. He's a hobo. He drinks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Insight check. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> can I insight check the hobo? You can insight check. I rolled a 16 plus 8, uh, 24. It seems long past his days. Oh, he's not lying to me? He's not lying to you. I like this hobo. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's in my nature to help people in need, so I'll ask him if you uh, I'll be like, uh, ah. Can I walk you there? Uh, sure, yes. I, I could appreciate the company. I pick him up. Yeah. Oh. pick him up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Away we go, then. I put him over my shoulder and I carry him to the tavern. Uh, you just got to wow. you gotta, you just gotta follow the southeast uh, road. Come on, everybody. <laughs> We're going to a tavern. <laughs> uh, Nifen's eyes light up at the word <laughs> tavern. And he's like, fuck yeah. <laughs> We're gonna, we're gonna drink. This is a new, <laughs> this is a new city. A tavern, a tavern brawl is a great way to get to know a new city. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I love it. Nephi goes, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> 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 oh man. All right, so you all continue down the road, uh, heading to the inn slash pub. In doing so, you pass by to your left. There seems to be a closed-off sector. You see nothing but guards blocking the doorways, and the gates are closed. Uh, and as you look through the bars, you can see it seems that uh, there seems to be herbalists helping people in a couple of buildings that are being raised. What are they doing over there? I asked the hobo. Oh, the, the, over there. Never go over there. That's a plagued <laughs> sector. Uh, they have it locked down currently to prevent it from spreading... Uh, see, uh, well, I'm not that smart, but <laughs> something <laughs> very, very sickly is going on there. I just uh, wish you carry on as you're holding. I'm very wise. <laughs> what is this plague? <laughs> yes, thank you. Uh, just about to ask that. That's so fine. <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, probably a god of herbalist would know better than I would, but the plague seems to have something to do with the magic that holds up the city. Can I make a medicine check to see if I know what it is? <laughs> You don't even have the plague in hand. What are you going to uh, try? Yeah, well, maybe yeah. I just can recognize from this. That'd be no, you're not, you're, not, you're not mingling with anything. What, what, what do you you got to find a study focus. Can I make a survival check? I just wanted right. to use my wicked to medicine see if skill. I can tell they're growing stuff, you said, right? The herbalists, you said? No, they're growing people. Yeah, oh, they're oh people. I thought you said herbalists, so I was going to see what they're growing. It's herbalists. Yeah, it is herbalists, but they're helping people with uh, concoctions that they make. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah. I thought they were growing some goop plants. No. <laughs> they have a grow walk going on. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I take the hobo to the tavern. All right, you guys approach the tavern in which there is no name on it. Uh, it looks very... No name tavern, my favorite it, brand. It looks completely broken. It's a small building. Uh, the door is slightly unhinged. Uh, you can see gaps in the wood from the walls. Uh, and then as you open up the door, it's absolutely dead. So most of the tables seem to be broken and slanted, and the chairs are missing legs here and there. There yeah. seems to be a couple of good tables. Right. I'll set the hobo down, and I'll turn to Nipa, and I'll be like, I guess we have to fight ourselves! <laughs> 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 Looks like we missed the brawl. Uh, what? <laughs> uh, uh, you said you were wanting to help me load supplies. No, I said I wanted to bring you here, but I'll help you load supplies too. <laughs> I'm All a right. good person. <laughs> Very well, follow me. Uh, he leads you to the back room. I, uh, yeah, I follow, I guess. Yeah. Sorry, my woman. Yeah, I guess I'll follow to help out too. Okay. Why are we even here? Yeah, <laughs> there's no reason. For <laughs> oh, it's it's, it's just a indie one off. There's no reason. Is there a bartender? <laughs> Uh, you don't see the bartender, but as he leads you all into the back, then you see, you can hear like scuffling behind barrels and crates as you are led into a dimly lit room. Uh, very small and confined, though, but tons of barrels and crates. And, uh, on the opposite side of the wall from you guys, you just hear rustling and 
various wooden pieces being flung around. Uh, and the old man just doesn't even say a word. He just starts lifting crates and taking them out to the front. <laughs> Are we robbing this place? <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> no? Suddenly you hear the door slam open and quick footsteps go out. Oh, you actually God. hear that. Oh, wait, does a guy legit rob this place? <laughs> oh, damn it! <laughs> Meguin is so mad that she punches the wall. <laughs> I will avenge this broken down tavern! And I chase after the hobo. Um, oh, are we gonna kill the hobo? Yeah, he, ran, he just stole from us. Okay. Alright, you go and you race to chase the hobo. Do all of you do the same? Come uh, back, you back! <laughs> um, I'm gonna stand that in, and as he's Running off, I wouldn't say uh, violence is never the answer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so before we go to uh, Migos, Miguel, Miguel, the party. helpful. I've changed her name to Miguel, the helpful. <laughs> we'll stick with our party of three currently right now. So currently, you just hear that scuffling going on. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna go back into the main part of the tavern and see what's up. All right, uh, you go to the main part of the tavern, and it's still just dead. It's okay. dead air. There's not. There's no noise. You can hear the wind blowing outside. And you find seven dead bodies. Each <laughs> step you take, the floor creaks and cracks. Uh, the bar itself looks very unstocked, and the few bottles that are there have caught webs on them. Oh, okay. Mm. Sanzin is very disappointed that there wasn't a bunch of people here you could make friends with over a flag and a veil. <laughs> and uh, in his rage, he's also going to chase after the hobo. <laughs> <laughs> he called it the hobo. The hobo took a heavy <laughs> crate, right? Okay. So the hobo, the hobo took a crate, right? Yeah. So it's most crate. likely a crate of alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> most likely. So okay. I could probably catch up pretty quick. Any fan would chase after too, then. Because I have a swimming speed of. <laughs> <laughs> I can also just walk thirty feet, but thirty feet. So um. Okay. Let's fuck this hobo up. Let's see. Uh, I don't care how Anos. poor you are, you son of a bitch. As everyone's bitch. running away, I'll be like, wait up. And just kind of tag along. All right, so <laughs> no, wait. <laughs> we'll go to Mia Gwyn first, as you were. You pursued him very quickly. Yeah, you see. Um, as you get to the doorway, you see him currently booking it down the path at a high speed. The jokes on him. I have a net. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it would come in handy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> as he's running, you notice he's not running very fast. He's kind of hobbling, but he's still going at a sprinting speed. How, uh, like, how far away is he? Because he's carrying a heavy crate, right? Currently, with you running with him, I'd say he's staying between 20 to 30 feet ahead of you. No, 15 to 20 feet ahead of you. Okay, perfect. He's in range. I'm going to throw my net at him. I'm right behind me again. All right. And then yeah, so be, I can yeah. use this. Yeah, yeah, like, it took uh, Nifand a few seconds to re- realize that it actually had, the crate he had actually had alcohol in it. Okay. Because <laughs> he's not that wise of a guy, so... So for... How would I would use... Uh, for fighting, I would just use, like, my strength, right? So... Because I'm proficient in that, so I go strength and proficiency for attack, right? So plus yeah. six? Okay. Why would not that be dex? Yeah, I think yeah, it's, it's a dex weapon. Well, for... A net is... Because net's, net's just weapon. special. It doesn't say finesse or oh. anything. It doesn't? Oh. No, it's just... Okay. That, yeah, it's just special. Okay, well then we'll go strength. There's... Well, wow. it's a thrown weapon. We yeah, the but there's some thrown weapons here. that are strength. Oh, okay. Like hand axes and javelins. Okay. I think it's under the throne. Of 12 property. Mm. Well, okay. it, it's, uh, it's thrown and also it says special, so I'm just looking for the special stuff. Okay. Well, special weapons are just lance and net. That's the only thing. They're just they're different. So a large, small creature hit by a net is restrained to us free, and then has no effect on creatures that forms or creatures that are huge or larger. Creature can use its action to make a DC 10 strength check, bringing itself or another creature within its reach on success. Dealing 5 slashing damage to the net, AC 10, also frees a creature without harming it, ending the effect and destroying the net. When you use a net as an action, bonus action reaction to attacking the net, you can make only one attack, regardless of the number of attacks you can normally make. That's all it says. Okay, cool. Alright, so, you rolled 12. 12, is that it? So, as he, you see him running, he's going, <sighs> you can hear the crate jiggling in his hands. Uh, you toss the net outwards, and as it makes a perfect arcing throw, uh, it lands completely on him, and he yeah. just it crumbles to the ground, the crate falls out of his hand, smashes on the ground, along with his whole body as well. Cool. And uh, currently he's just not moving there. 
We notice liquid coming out of the box. As you both approach, you begin to see, yeah, there is liquid coming out of the crate. Okay. And as you both catch up, you quickly see as there's liquid. I run up. Don't say anything. Just pull my short sword and stab him in the neck. <laughs> <laughs> I wow. I you're lying with <laughs> As you do that, you just hear... <laughs> as his final breath leaves his body. Whoa, as no! He's got my own. No! <laughs> Me, me and Glenn rushes over and lay on hands in. He dead. I, I cut his head off. <laughs> you watch his, uh... What? How you pronounce your name? No! Zanzian. Zanzian just takes his sword after stabbing him through the neck, lifts it up, and hucks it downwards, mm-hmm. uh, actually cutting through your net as well. You do this every city! <laughs> so not only is his head cut off now, you rolling along the ground, net. but you broke his net. I'm chaotic neutral, so I'm not going to linger on this, but uh, <laughs> I will just be like, you owe me a new net! <laughs> I want you actually, I have an AC 10 on that net, so roll a hit. <laughs> Do you ever have an AC on that? Yeah, it has an AC 10. Okay, then. It's a deal five damage. You do to break it. the net. Or if you I'm pretty sure you'll break the net. Okay, okay, okay. Pretty sure you will. I got. That is. Yeah, yes. you broke, <laughs> you broke his net. Yeah. Sorry. I'll My net's broken. Whatever. <laughs> I'll slip you a copper piece. That's not gonna pay for a net. I don't care. <laughs> you bastard! <laughs> so. Uh, Nefander is just trying to open the box to see what he can solve. Uh, yeah, easy he's enough. You, the <laughs> you plop the lid off the crate. You see that it, not all the bottles are broken. A couple of them have been smashed, but there's still four remaining bottles. That man did not have to die. And they're just simple green tinged bottles <laughs> with corks in them. No labels. Uh, Nefander will just say to everyone, Good news, everyone! We still have some alcohol! <laughs> This has been the worst day ever! <laughs> he misled us, he got my hopes up. <laughs> you take <laughs> yeah. right. four bottles of liquor. <laughs> you ruined my net, and now there's blood all over the floor! He was a good man. No, he was. He, he was, was really <laughs> from the cabin. Yeah, actually, he wasn't a very good person at all. He was doing what he had to to survive. And so was I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're really threatened there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. So after you just slayed this nearly homeless man, we should probably hide the body. <clears throat> We're in a city. And I have plus two intelligence, which means I'm smart enough to know that. <laughs> Is the guy's eyes open? Yeah. No, I'll, I'll go down and kind of say a prayer as I close his eyes. <laughs> okay. Can I try and hide the body? And he yeah, will can. say, well, we have a box. We have a body. <laughs> <laughs> That's, he's not going to put that box. As you look at the crate, it's just not even slightly big. Okay, <laughs> okay I'm going to look around trying to find a good place to stash a body. Do what you will. I'll what would no that more. Uh, we'll survive. <laughs> yes, I plus eight survival. 17, so 25. Nice. Yeah, easily enough, right beside you to the left is an alleyway, and you see, like, um, massive empty barrels in them. A couple of them. I pick up the hobo and I say, sorry guys, and I throw him in one of the, and I like start stuffing it into the barrel, <laughs> and then I slam it shut, and I, uh, I just like seal it. I'm okay. Like, so um, maybe you'll be found in a few days. <laughs> how, do you, how do you seal the barrel? Uh, I have a priest's pack, so I'll take candles and just like melt wax over it. <laughs> okay. Yes, yeah. yeah, so you, you pick up the dead man. It'll and... only take about 35 minutes, but yeah. <laughs> if I get enough wax on there, we should be good. As you pick up his body and his head and he's rolling around there, and you go and you go to the barrel and you slam him in, and he just kind of folds up and goes completely and you kind of push down his crunch, feet a little crunch, more. Crunch, crunch, crunch. <laughs> just bumps. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah there! Just... Now we won't get in any legal trouble. <laughs> walk away. <laughs> so you guys currently in the pathway at this point you actually begin to see a couple of people that are roaming the sidewalk to your location heading towards the end it seems alright so what are we doing sorry what do you guys want to do we could probably find a better tavern to find people in <laughs> it sounds good to me we just killed a man I can really use a drink <laughs> And Nifand will just uh, pull out a bottle from one of, from the casket and just like share it with everyone. Sweet. Nika will take a swig. Uh, yeah, as you consume the liquor, it's, it very fiercely burns your throat. Oh shit! Uh, for about a, a second, and then it's very warm as it goes the rest of the way down. What the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> you can tell it's definitely not 
well-crafted liquor for taste. It's just more to get you drunk. And... Oh, so it's like moonshine. Yeah. Nice. It's oh, man, am I drunk? <laughs> no. Okay, good. <laughs> That's my con. My con is a uh, minus two. <laughs> nice. Oh, okay, maybe roll con then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I didn't mean it. <laughs> Uh, roll a 17. Yeah, you're okay. Yeah. You're okay. Oh, that's some strong shit! <laughs> I'll just hand the bottle back to the new fan. And he'll just take a few drinks as well. And then a few more. I'll just grab my own And then a few more. <laughs> okay. I will, uh, I will move on. I want to find a, another tavern so we can talk about the town, I guess. Can I, can I see, like, a, an actual tavern that's, like, not dead? Uh, where you guys are right now, no, you can't. Do I know where to go? No, this is the first time all of you visited this city. Okay. okay. Why are we in this city to begin with? Uh, you're in the city mostly just because you're Improv. traveling through on your own reasons. Mm-hmm. Improv. Let's make a quick backstory of why we're all together. <laughs> Improv. Um, all four of you kind of came here on your own whim. After okay. killing that troll, I really and needed a break. And met together at the entrance of the city. <laughs> okay. okay. My captain sent me on a mission, and I'm going to follow it to my dying breath, because I'm loyal to him above everything else. There you go. And I just so happened to take me to the city. Is this by chance a harbor town? No. Okay. <laughs> Floating <It's> city. city. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like nowhere near the ocean or anything? Oh, uh... <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, it's right by the ocean. Okay. okay, so <laughs> it's almost floating above it. It's kind of right okay. beside on the beach. Oh so. God, I have hydrophobia. <laughs> <laughs> so one of my bonds is in a harbor town. I have a paramour whose eyes nearly stole me from the sea. Wow. So nice. Ooh. That could be why I'm there. Okay. There you go. There you go. I can I see troll, my no, galley from where we are? You can. Yeah, you can see it's yes. currently docked by this a huge ship. <laughs> yeah, you see this huge <laughs> massive galley. <laughs> <laughs> Some of you predicted to be worth about 30,000 gold pieces of these uh, cannons all across the size, and it is just Amazing. like docked right on the beach, not even just tied down, it just went onto the sand. It's called the Jackdaw. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Is your captain just Edward Gateway? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We're going for treasure. I thought that was funny. Yeah, it was. It's funny. It's good. Roll all for right, treasure? So, is that what you said? You guys want to know? You guys want to go for to find another town? Yeah, I want to talk yeah, to somebody, sure. find out what's going on. Yeah, okay, I want to make some friends. I'm gonna to try to find a uh, like a mercenaries guild or something somewhere I can find a quest. Okay. After traveling the land for 15 years, after saving my home farmland, I I uh, I don't know why I'm here. <laughs> I'm gonna say I'm gonna take a little survival to see how you can navigate the city to find your tavern. Plus eight is a. Uh, Eleven. Eleven. Yeah, and are you both going with him, or are you? Uh, I'd be looking for a tavern. Yeah, here. I am down for the tavern. Okay. You got. A, <laughs> what was that for survival? Eleven. Eleven. You navigate yourself fairly well um, as you travel through the, the pathways between the buildings, going against the reflecting brass architecture. Uh, most of the buildings here are tall and narrow, and then condensed together, and, and mostly just small sections. Through navigating, you kind of get lost a couple of times, taking the wrong path here or there. But you, t- you thought you think that there's a shortcut through an alleyway, which you do take, and you find a pub. And it has the name uh, Ivory Octopus labeled right on the roof, like painted on the roof. Ooh, this one has a name, <laughs> <laughs> and it looks better. It's uh, it's actually made out of brass. The walls are brass, and the, the door itself is brass. It's all brass. <laughs> um, what? You know that the door itself, there's no actual doorknob on it. It just almost seems like there's a slight it's brass. seam. <laughs> yeah, it's just brass. <laughs> but there's a slight seam that melts with the wall and it's barely noticeable. Oh, okay. Uh, I knock. Uh, as you knock, you hear voice on the other side. <clears throat> brass one. Brass! You hear no response. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I was really confident about that one. Can I roll an insight check to see where I know the password is? No, how, how, would, that, that, how would I do that? I don't know. Um, I've tried to use these tools to get it. <laughs> yeah, you could. <laughs> He's standing right there. <laughs> That's a... 
16. Or wait. No, that would be a 19. 19. Oh, good roll. So you watch as um, Mifad? Yeah. Mifad? Yeah. Uh, he takes out these tools. He crouches down even lower to about the bottom of the door. And he looks at the bottom right crack of the scene and he begins jamming his tools in there. <laughs> and you hear various clicks and clanks. And uh, eventually uh, he moves to the other corner and same thing. You hear clicks and clanks. And he goes up to the top corner and then the other top corner. And... Uh, after, after he, you hear the last like click. You hear a voice, and I said, "Ah, what are you doing? <laughs> You're gonna let us in here. We're gonna fucking kill you." <laughs> okay. Keep the door open. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> he has he kicks. I punch. Hell yeah! Hell yeah. Oh, yeah! You kick the door open, and all you hear is a ah, <laughs> a sudden thud, and the then you hear this. Fuck you! <laughs> you hear what sounds to be the breakage of wood across, and as the door slams open, you just see this like small dwarf man that seems to have crashed into a table, <laughs> unconscious. Oh. Luckily, there's an empty table; no one was sitting at it. Sorry, mate, didn't see you there. I'll pick him up and sit him down and put a pair of shades over his eyes. <laughs> oh, I had too much to drink. <laughs> All right, uh, yeah, you take a chair. Not well, the table's broken, so you just pick him up, put him on one of the chairs, and. <laughs> Put some shades. You don't really have shades, so oh. you kind of just... I just put something over his eyes. Like, like two, a couple of splinters of wood. That copper eyes. piece you gave me, I put over his eye. <laughs> the other copper piece I put over his eye. There you go. You put, put <laughs> too much sun! <laughs> <laughs> Can I try and fix the door too? What's, uh, what's inside the tavern? So yeah, as you kicked open the door and you watched the dwarf man who was there, you see that this place went silent after that as almost every table is filled <laughs> with like, humans and tieflings and dwarves halflings uh, the bartender even went silent he's on the far wall and the, the bar itself goes across the entirety of the wall all right i'm gonna try and fix the door while they're staring at it okay <laughs> how many people are roughly roughly i'd say there's about 20 to 21 people right. in here i'm just gonna be like all right you lily livid lot first rounds on me let's go <laughs> <laughs> Everyone then just uproars and <laughs> yeah, and they slam their drinks down, and immediately music kicks back up. Hell and yeah! Go back to the business. Zanzi knows awesome. this party. You guys gotta change your passwords. <laughs> too hard. I don't know what the fuck it was. <laughs> so you go to fix the door. Yeah. All right. Um. Is that B? Just um, bro, do an intelligence check for me. <laughs> Seven. Uh, you close the door and you figure that's probably good enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I leave it. <laughs> yeah. I take my two copper pieces back to you. I want those. <laughs> um, immediately afterwards, that you close the door, suddenly the whole place shakes and rumbles, and you hear a loud boom that comes from the other side. And you notice that everyone in the tavern seems undisturbed by that noise. Cool. Bombs normally go off in here. Yeah, can I uh, roll an insight to try to like understand what it was? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, you could. Never mind. It's a three. Three. Oh, nice. Yeah, you had no clue. You're clueless. <laughs> so, the place booming, people drinking, having fun. Some people are dancing on the tables, already drunk. A couple of people are fighting in the corner. Um, then there's a you know, it seems to be a nice bard on a stage playing some music with his mandolin. A very uplifting, fast beat stuff. And then there's a kobold that's running the bar in the back. Does he look like he needs help? No. He's not, he's not too busy? Is he busy? No, he doesn't look like he currently just seems to be cleaning a tanker. You're going to help him. <laughs> okay. Uh, you go and you approach the bar. You see the kobold there. Can I help you? Can I help you? <laughs> <laughs> My life goal is to aid those in need. Well... You yeah, are not in need. <laughs> so I'm taking glasses anyway, and I like start wiping them down. I'll clap okay, you Okay, he shoulders. just squints his eyes at you in confusion. <laughs> it's okay. You don't have to pay me. You're one of them weird drunks, aren't you? I'm not drunk. <laughs> I did have some weird liquor earlier, but I'm not drunk. I rolled a 17 at Constitution, so. All right, so you're going to lay there cleaning tankards with them? Yeah. Oh, what are the... What do you like to do? Uh, first, I'll get a drink, and then after that, I'm joining the guys who are fighting in the corner. Okay. Uh, yeah, so you go up to the bar on the kobold and um, Mia Gwen, who are just cleaning tankers right now. 
Um, can I get a container and a cough for you, too? Oh, no, uh, just, uh, alcohol. Uh, beer, sure. Yeah, beer. Oh, wonderful. All right, that'll just be, uh... I didn't know if you worked here. Well, she does it. <laughs> oh, okay. She just decided she wanted to clean. It's... What? I'm just trying to help. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. And he pulls out a beer and slams it down. Uh, it's a bottle. It's a smaller bottle. It's okay. a brown tinged glass. Uh, also, with just a cork stuffed in it. Uh, it'll just be three copper pieces. I just from like five. Oh, man. Thank you. Hey, how much gold does uh, uh, Zanzian owe? By the way. Yeah, for... Find the whole round for the tavern. Oh, shit. Hold on. 21 by 100. Three coppers? Yeah, 21. So you will. Thanks for that. You owe 63 copper pieces? That's what, like six gold? Or yep. Yeah. No, no. silver. Six, yeah, six, six silver, silver, silver three pieces. Coppers. Okay. Six silver, three copper. So that was nothing. <laughs> I don't know. You just. Trying to be realistic. <laughs> I, uh, so you're fighting. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, uh, Anos, what are you doing? All right, we haven't got that for you. Hold on. So, yeah, yeah you grab your drink. Oh, and right. you start walking over to where you see the brawl. Yeah. Currently, it just seems to be a half orc against a half elf. And uh, they're both muscular built. Uh, one, the orc is bald, but the half elf has a mohawk going down his head. Oh. And uh, currently they're just exchanging blows back and forth. And it's almost like boxing style. And they're very focused in on what they're doing. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Take the bow time. Yeah. <laughs> Evan will just, just run up. It's like uh, three foot one self. Not muscular at all. And uh, he'll say... Looks like I could teach you how to fight. <laughs> Immediately, before the half elf goes to strike his next blow, he stops and he looks down at you. <laughs> oh, you think you can what? Hey, you think you can you can take your on, eh? Yeah, I think you need a couple lessons. That <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a challenge for me, my friend. All right, we'll take you on. <laughs> they both turn your direction. All right, here's the rules: no punching the nuts. <laughs> No poking out the eyes. Everything else goes. You want a weapon? You we get weapons too. I'm um, good with these weapons here, and I just throw my fists. Just <laughs> <laughs> so like the half looks almost like pulling out a dagger, and he sees you pull your fists. Oh, he slides it back in. Um, <laughs> Probably smart. <laughs> All right. Here's what's gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> Roll the head. Oh fuck. <laughs> That's, uh, so is that just strength? That's strength. Yeah, that's a four. <laughs> As you go to wail on him, you're about three foot one, so you go to wail on his thigh, um, and he's quickly, he's already been in fighting, he's warmed up, he goes, he just catches your fist. Oh, shit. <laughs> that was a mistake. And he goes, he goes for a counter punch. <laughs> that's like a five. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, so he goes and wails on you, but he's not used to fighting short people. So he wails right above your head. He's like, oh, fuck. You guys suck. <laughs> um, roll initiative. Okay. Uh, 14. Yeah, 14. So. We make bets. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to do that. I'm going to leave the glasses. I'm going to walk around and be like, bets, bets, make your bets. Okay, okay. <laughs> and since he's my friend, I'm gonna say five gold on me, man. Uh, as you walk around calling for bets, people immediately kind of start paying attention to fight. Like, oh shit! What's the other guy's name? Which guy? The guy you just played. Yeah, I'm fighting two of them. Oh, never found out their name. He's oh, fighting two of them. I asked the random person what their names are, so I can make bets properly and keep in score here. I don't know. I just call that one um, dark green and call that one. Light, light white. <laughs> Dark G and light night. Yeah, okay. sure. And he's the random stranger just downs his drink and falls behind his chair. Nice. Okay, see ya. <laughs> so I got five gold on me, man. Did I hear any other bets? You see people raising hands like, oh, over here. And so I, I hear you saying that and like calling the names and I say, 
light night, more like night night. <laughs> 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 well, I, that'll be like in my initiative. Yeah. Okay. All okay, right. but five gold on the pan. Bets. Take your bets. You find that? Uh, hold on. Actually, I got to roll for this one. Ah. <sighs> Fancy roll. So. Okay. <coughs> all right. So. So 70% of people <laughs> have voted for dark green. Yeah. <laughs> 70%? What was that? 70%. 70% of 21. 70% of 21, yeah. So. That's roughly 14. So roughly 5 15. gold times four, 5 times 14 was a. 70. 70, yeah. 70 gold on dark green. Yeah, 70 gold on dark green. And then 30% of people, have, uh, the other 30% have voted for. Uh, your friend. Ethan. 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 So, plus yeah. my five, what is that? What's, what's 30% of 21? What does it say seven again? Seven times five is 35. Plus five, so 40 gold. Okay, and no one voted for Light Knight? <laughs> That's roughly like six people. I'll just put five gold on Light Knight. I'll see if there's five gold on Yeah, no one has went for <laughs> White <Okay>. White. <laughs> Get it, Ethan! I put a lot of money on you! And with that, you begin to see a crowd emerge around the fight. Uh, people are getting drinks. Uh, the kobold's kind of running around. He looks a little more busy now. Uh, Broke his knee! <laughs> <laughs> it's now Dark Green's turn. Uh, you watch this man stand about six foot three. Wow. <laughs> and he's got two massive tusks that almost touch his nose. <laughs> and he obviously just walks in. <sighs> Cracks his neck. Raises his fist and just hammers it down on your head. He's r- literally twice my size. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's 16. Yeah, that hits. <laughs> oh boy. Um, okay, so that'll just be typical. Uh, yeah, he did four bludgeoning damage okay. to you as he just conks you on the head. And that's all he does. Uh, it's now ha- Light White's turn. Uh, and he is going to go low and kind of slide into you with his fist and punch you right in the gut. He seemed to be going at a good team effort here. Uh, though that's 17. For Don't team yeah, up, you hits. pussies! And he, he's a slightly weaker. Anyway. That's two bludgeoning damage. Two kick. Yeah. No, sorry, three. Plus one. You have a weapon, right? Yeah. You have a lot of weapons. <laughs> and now it's your turn. Uh... He brings one that. See, bring one out. Yeah, right now we're just going hand against hand, so uh, I think I'll just keep going, I guess. Okay. Nope, that's a uh, five. So it does not hit. <laughs> <laughs> you go to whale. Which one are you whaling on? Uh, like me. Light, light, okay. Or, light, light. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When I punch him, when I try to punch him, I'm like light night, more like night night. And, I, and uh, then I miss. <laughs> and you go and you watch as he like takes his shin and he kicks back your fist. Um, oh no, he's gonna get his ass kicked. <laughs> the crowd immediately is like, oh. Um, dark green comes around again. He's like, double clunk, and he takes his other fist and he wails it on your head once again. That's. 15. Uncanny dodge. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, that still hits. That still hits? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> We've got to add uncanny dodge. So that's four bludgeoning damage you take. So half that then. Two. Yeah, half that. Yeah, How many times can you use that? I think infinite. Yeah. Yeah, so he goes and he whacks you on yeah. the head, and you're very dense, so your head doesn't move pretty it's much at all. Or it's a reaction, so probably once per. That's per- Tri- uh, round. Yeah. yeah. That's what I would say. <coughs> um, now so with eight. half yeah, or light white's yeah. turn. Um, yeah, he goes. He goes to just kick you right in the the thigh, or punch you in the thigh. Sorry, that's base fifteen. It's. Uh, so that's three. Or sorry, one, one base. Yeah, still three. Okay. Three bludgeoning <laughs> damage you take. So far, they're shit kicking you. Yeah. <laughs> And the people that have voted on dark green are just getting drinks after drinks. 
Uh, some couple of people have invested in an entire barrel. I'm trying to think about them <laughs> helping in any way. Thinking that they're about to win. And get them out. Five spells. Uh, it's now your turn. <sighs> I guess just keep trying to wail on okay. uh, Light Knight. For fuck's sakes! Oh, dude, you guys switched out. It's a four. I just, that's a different dice. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah that does not hit. Uh, you go to wail on him, and this time he just slaps your fist out of the way. And gives you a little smirk. He's like, <laughs> you fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Dark Green goes to make his triple wallop, as he calls it. You know, <clears throat> three wallop. And he goes and takes both his fists, and he slams him down on your noggin. That's uh, only two, you dumbass! For, <laughs> damn. 16? Yeah, it is. Uncanny dodge. <laughs> So, so you take half of five bludgeoning damage. Okay. You so unground it up or down? Yeah, just take two. two. Which health do you have? I'm at 24 right now. Nice. Oh, you're okay. Yeah. Okay. We can go to you guys now. So we don't just have me missing attacks for like 20 more minutes. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I'll say just, just keep things at a good pace. Um, do three attack rolls for me. Okay. That's a 10. 16. Nice. 14. Alright, so 14, 16 hit. Okay. And they hit the, the, the white guy. Yeah. Yeah. So right. is that just a d4 for damage? Yeah. Okay. Uh, three damage each. Three damage each. Six. Six damage in total. Okay. Um, well, he got a 10 and 16. Both hit. Both hit. Yeah. What's your armor class? Ten. <laughs> oh no! Because my dexterity is so is like eight. So that's five and then three. I'm kind of Yeah. So you take half yeah. of that. So five altogether. Yeah. Okay. All right, and then finish this off. Roll strength and roll a con. Mm. Mm. Strength is a ten. Con is an eleven. Okay. It last so, a Con save. We're actually at both be the same. So your con's eleven and your strength is eleven. Uh, okay. strength is ten. Con is eleven. Con's eleven. Okay, so as you battle it out with light white, um, he goes and he strikes a blow on you, and it, it hurts. That you, you feel it, but you absorb it. And as you go to take a blow on him, you punch him right in the gut and wind him completely. And he goes to the ground. And you follow up with a second uppercut now that he's your level. Wow. And he just slams on the ground unconscious. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Do it again for me. Strength. Yeah, 10 again for strength. Yeah, now 20 for con. Yeah, oh. Oh my god, oh, man. Oh, you can't see them. <laughs> uh, but I'll tell you how it turns out. <laughs> so, 10 for strength, not 20 for con. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, you go. Now, turning to dark green, you go for him. And what would you like to do? How do you like to knock him out? Mess him up! Mess him up. <laughs> I want to see him walk he, he, again. He got a 16 <laughs> and then a nat 1, so you okay. beat him on both. Okay, so... Uh, let's see. Uh, first I'll go and, like, kick his knee, just to, like, knock him down to my own level. Alright. Then punch the gut to make him go, go down even more to my level, because he's a tall down. dude. Yeah. Then, uh, one, two, punch, like, one side, other side, undercut. Nice. Alright, and after you do that, he flails back and slams on his friend. Uh, and you watch... They're both unconscious, but you see something slide out of his pocket. Uh, it's in a bag. Okay. It's in a pouch. Just use pouch. Should I use sleight of hand? Should All right. Up? Roll sleight of hand for me. Battle now being over, you watch as <clears throat> about 30% of the crowd, so about six people, really start cheering <laughs> <laughs> as they won the bet against your uh, with your friend. That's yeah, so there was 40 gold on the event, so I mean, how much money did I make? There's 40 gold in the event. On an e fan. On e fan. There were 70 on Dark Green and 5 on Light Knight. And who'd you bet I bet 5 gold on an e fan. Oh, well, that means you get 70? The people that bet on e fan <coughs> get collectively get all the gold. Yeah. Okay. So that's uh, 100, 10, 115. Yeah. Divided by 7. 7, seven, seven people. 
So that's 16 gold pieces each. Yeah, yeah. fucking take 16 gold. Tripling your money. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah, the people that lost you see were looking very much sad. And also they bought a lot of drinks expecting their money back. In which they did not receive. So they kind of slouch over to their tables again. You see me run up and just kick the <laughs> knee. Like that. Thor Ragnarok. Take that, ghost person. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you kick him and you, uh, you kind of miss and hit his tusk and his tusk snaps. And breaks. Oh. <laughs> oh no! So, I, uh, I, I put it back on uh, with uh, wax. <laughs> <Can> I, <laughs> I start building a candle trying to make uh, this yeah, you, you light the candle up and you have the tusky place. You're just letting the wax drip around oh, it. Yeah. <laughs> and then after you do that, it stays. And then in a couple seconds, it just kind of falls into his mouth. Okay, bye! <laughs> it's fine. I was going to do that anyway. I was going to go What did you get for your uh, 11. 11. Yeah, simple enough. You do strike up the pouch. It is a smaller pouch. Hold on. This is the random part for the DM that has to do. So, who fucking knows what's gonna happen? Just bear with me. Stay with me. Don't leave. No worries, man. It's time to go. (laughs) Watch out of a legendary weapon. Um, You have the pouch, uh, as you look in, you find a scroll inside. Is it Wish? Uh, tied with just a thin line of uh, rope, okay. twine rope. Uh, I'll just yell out, next round's on me for the bar, just because people were disappointed. Some people were happy that I won, so I'm buying beers for them. Uh, people kind of go, hey, <laughs> takes back down. Quit being a bunch of sore losers! <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll kind of Find a small corner to just read what is on the scroll. Uh, okay, yeah, you go. You just stay in your fighting corner because no okay. one's around yeah. there anymore. And you open up the scroll, and it, uh, there's nothing on it. Okay, can I roll like an investigation check on it? Yeah. Yeah, twenty. Oh, whoa! Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, you take your fingers and you slide them down the paper, and it reveals this nice. Uh, emitting blue light writing all the way downwards uh, as you read it uh, it's in common and it speaks that uh, basically has a spell scroll for fourth level now sweet so you can cast a fourth level spell and it says this can be melded to any fourth level spell so wow. fourth level isn't wow, in the scroll cool. why this half work out <laughs> In case you got in a fight and didn't win. So at some point you can pick the fourth level spell of your choice and use that scroll to cast cool. it. So what are my like save DC be for that? I mean, uh, or spell attack? I like, would it be based on uh, oh. charisma e- or wisdom? I, it depends on the spell you pick. Okay, cool. So go by the spell. Okay. All right. After that, Gavin's going back to its normality. Seventy percent of the people here are now depressed and really sad. <laughs> a little uplifted, and you buying around again, uh, which now you. Effectively, all 16, six silver pieces. Okay. Uh, is there a group of like sailor-looking people in the bar? There's a couple of humans that are dressed up uh, as sailors. Looks like oh. all of them are wearing captain's hats. Okay. <laughs> Mostly, what they're wearing is they're wearing a heavy like trench coat attire mm-hmm. and then a simple tunic, and they all have like a necklace with a ring on it, and they all try full captain's hats. Are any of them named Morgan? You don't know. <laughs> how, how many are there? Three. And they're all together? They're all together at the same table. Okay, right? I'll, I'll go In a up. tri-fold like their hat. Okay, yeah. I'll go up to the bartender and get four drinks. One for each of them and one for myself. And then go over to the... Alright. Yeah. Um, so you walk up to the cobalt. Uh, you go through the discussion. He hands you the drinks. Uh, you, you pay... You said you got three? Mm-hmm. Four. 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 Mm-hmm. Alright, so... And like higher quality ale. Oh, higher quality. Uh, All right, so we're going about four silver pieces. All right. That's what you're paying out. And the bottles he hands you are much nicer. It's a very clear, clean glass. You can see the liquid in it is like a golden ale color. Very nice. Uh, There's actually a cap on it this time instead of a cork. 
And you go over to the table and you see that they're all just seem to be conversing and chattering amongst each other. How do you approach okay. them? I'll just walk up, put the drink on the table. I'll be like, this round's on me, boys. And sit there with them. <laughs> they all look up at you. They're all wearing an eye patch on their right eye. Oh, wow. That's <laughs> <laughs> the triplets. <laughs> I want to see you get shanked. Do I recognize any of them? Or, you know... <clears throat> I think I recognize him. Roll history. Oh, history? Yeah. That's a good history. Told you it comes in. 25. Handy. You sunk their ships before. <laughs> oh, sweet. Okay. <laughs> Pillage their crew. <laughs> they have one boat left. All right. <laughs> uh, bygones, you bygones. Whatever. Uh, they, you know, they look up at you and two of them which like scowl at you. Mm-hmm. The, 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 the other one can't seem to recognize you. It looks like he's a little confused. I um, mean, <laughs> like, um, haven't we seen you before? Eh? Never. No? Nah? No. No? Nah? Not once. Alright. Okay. <laughs> so, alright, well, you bought us drinks. Uh, have a seat. Thanks, mate. Uh, you can take a seat with them. Yeah. Alright, so, we're all talking about how we're going to take a 30,000 gold piece ship. <laughs> <laughs> The other two just look at it, the, the, the one friend like, mm, <laughs> not now. <laughs> you mean that, uh, that handsome galley that's docked there at, at, at the port? Oh, it's here. Yeah, the yeah, jackdaw. Oh, my. how do you know his name? It's an enormous ship. It's the first thing you see when you come into harbour. It's a beautiful ship. Of course I know that. It is a beautiful ship, yes. <laughs> And we're going to take it right, boys. <laughs> oh, really? We're both like, oh. <laughs> Stop talking! <laughs> and then he's like... And then when, he, me and Gwen is mopping now. <laughs> he really gives you a look and... Why? Why do I need to stop talking? He's... Okay then. I just smile. Pour us drinks. <laughs> <laughs> I wink at the other two. The other two are just like, oh, fuck it, he's not worth it. And they get up and leave. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> drinks. Later, boys. <laughs> the one guy stays with you. Cool. <laughs> oh, all right. Um, I'll see you later then. Uh, when we steal the ship. Yes. What is it? It said Dawn, right? Dawn? Okay. Uh, <laughs> Good. 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 So, um, what's your name? Joffrey. <laughs> Joffrey. That's a fine name. How did you Thank come you. about it? It was given to me by my mom. <laughs> your mom's not dead, is she? She is now. Her name's not like Cleatrice or anything. Like I. I never knew her name. All right, cool. God give it back. It's probably for the best. Oh, then we're fine. Yeah. That's okay. great. <laughs> so, how would you like to steal a 30,000 gold piece ship? I must say, I'm quite interested. It's just, we need one more man to really make this work. Okay. So far, we have 50. 50? We need 51. Okay. Because one needs to stand guard. That's Oddly specific. Well, we need one to stand guard. <coughs> well, the other 50, you know, it's a big ship. We need to... Okay. All right. You yeah, uh, need 50 people, though. That's so many. <laughs> but I wouldn't want to stand guard. I'd want to be in the action. So somebody else could... One of the other 50 could stand guard. Oh, well, I'd have to talk to the other boys about that one. See, we always make mm. our decisions together. Well, I think it's time that you strike out for yourself and start making your own decisions. Persuasion. <laughs> 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 God damn it. Keep talking. <laughs> Fine, handsome man like you. You should be the captain of the new ship. Just you. Don't you think? I'll slide the ale towards him. <laughs> he takes it, he takes his swig and slams it down. Well, it doesn't make sense. The other two each own their own boats. And- I could own my own boat, and then we have three boats. Exactly. Oh, that'd be great. Yes. yes. Um, hell, you make a good deal. Why not? <laughs> I will be the captain of the ship. <laughs> oh. What's your name, friend? Um, <laughs> William. William. It's William Trugas. Yeah, that's a strong name. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know, yes. I'm about to be the captain of a ship. <laughs> it's going to be the best name ever. Um... 
All right, well, here's the plan. Okay. So, we'll pay you uh, two silver pieces. We're not very rich right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, all Let's we need you to do ship. is stand guard. Sure. We'll let you know if the position changes, if the position changes when I right. talk to me. All right. I know, fuck it. I'm going to be captain. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be battle. We'll yes. make some other man stand. You're, like like You're my fucking first mate. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love you. Tell you what, if you prove yourself. You can be my first mate. Amazing. I like the sound of that a lot. All right. So what at dawn in the thing? morning, right at the crack of the sun rising over the horizon, mm-hmm. we will be storming the boat. Okay. Now, there's quite a few people on there last I heard, so you've got to be careful. Have your wits about you. Um, we can't just exactly climb up the rope, so we're going to blow a hole in it. Okay. Yes, we have a lot of thermite. Okay. Um, about 100 pounds. We're you not going to need to use all of it, but mm-hmm. you never know if you, you know, sometimes it's sketchy. We, we don't exactly know how it works, but you know. Um, <laughs> You're going to blow a hole in ship. The more you have, the better. Mm-hmm. Um, don't worry about it sinking. It's on the beach. Okay? It's beached. Mm-hmm. I will just repair the hole afterwards. Okay. Smart. But you're trying to steal it, so you're just going to blow a hole in it. Yours are mine. the hole's blown, mm-hmm. we're going to go right through the hole, and we're just going to start massacring everyone. Really send a message. All right. All right. And then we're going to take the boys, and we're going to make words out on the beach, so that that damn captain, um, what was his name again? I don't know, but he was an asshole. He took down a lot of our ships. Roberts. Hmm? Captain <laughs> Roberts. Captain Roberts. Dread Pirate? No. God, no. <laughs> that sounded about right. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, we're going to um, send him a message with mm-hmm. his dead man. Sound good? Very much so. All right. Well, I gotta go catch up with my other captains because we're all about to be captains now. <laughs> um, I'll see you in the morning. Meet me at the beach. I am all right, break it on. I'll be there. Wonderful. And then he gets up and he throws his bottle behind him and walks out. Okay. But I'm still half full of liquid. I approach Zenzian. <laughs> Who was that? William. <laughs> what were you guys talking about? We're gonna steal my ship. <laughs> <laughs> what? Mark. Ah, we'll see how it goes. It'll be fun. <laughs> I leave the tavern. All right. It's time to explore. We have to figure out what this one-off is about. (laughs) So you all leave the tavern, and as you go, you hear another massive explosion, except this time you see it. It's coming from the plagued area that you visited before, and it's just this huge green fireball that shoots up into the sky and begins to mist over the first level of the city. Um, You, In the distance, you can hear faint, like, orders being given, and people screaming in terror. Um, soon after that, you see people down the path running across it uh, in a furious sprint uh, in, in a lot of panic. What do you all do? Uh, I think Nippin, Nippin, Nippin would probably just walk towards it. All right. You... I'm intrigued. I will also just head. Like, but I'm, I'm scared, so I'm going to like, run. Gonna run. Gonna run. We're going to run towards it. We're going to run towards okay. it and save the day. All right. You all begin... Sure journeying quickly towards the scene of the crime here. I start pushing people under, like, like uh, carts and, like, behind doors. Hi, there's a, there's a fucking earthquake! <laughs> <laughs> people are like, ah! And, uh, as you go and you approach the scene, immediately you go to the same gate you passed by before with the guards, and the gate is completely blown open. I mean, the iron bars are just bent outwards. Uh, there's a big hole in there. Pieces of iron are strewn on the ground uh, pieces of the wall are broken off and smacked into the other buildings not breaking them because most of them are made of brass but there's quite a bit of dents in them uh, you see that the guards are on the floor crawling away from the scene and you can see as their skin begins to look like it's decaying quickly and uh, the decay is also has like a dark blue kind of essence glowing from it huh. they don't look so good can I go up and do a medicine check? You can. Six. You go and you approach the guard. They're away. sick! <laughs> and he reaches up. He's like, and you kind of look away. and you smack his hand away and you look at him. And They're sick! <laughs> <laughs> can I also make a medicine check? You can, yeah. Cool. Uh, after doing so, the guard dies. Oh, sweet. Oh, okay. the ground, like, oh. I take his belongings. You're taking belongings? Yeah. Uh, Chaotic neutral. 
All right, yeah. Um, you take Once his, you're dead, I don't care. <laughs> you take the pouch off his side, you open it up. It's mostly silver pieces, about 12 of them. And then there are like a couple of gold rings in there. Nothing really worth any value. Two gold rings. I got a 23. 23. Oh, wow. Well. You approach the same dead guard who was not dead earlier. Uh, upon expecting his wounds, you find that um, this has a magical capability to it. Oh, okay. Uh, although you're not sure. No, you are sure what. As you look at it more, you find that you've seen this type of burn before, and it comes from magic. Uh, heavy amounts of magic that are being used in a condensed area can cause uh, magical radiation, so to speak, that essence out of it. And okay. when affecting other people, it poisons and decays them from the inside outwards. Um, they s- slowly or quickly die, depending on the amount of radiation from the magic that has been leaked. Hmm. So there's probably a lot of radiation since this guard died in like two seconds. Uh, as you look through the gate, you see uh, pretty much a lot of the buildings are crumbling down. Yes, right. they crumbled, or and the other ones have been raised. Uh, everyone in there is effectively dead. Wow. Okay. And then this mist over the sky begins to grow and grow. Can I explore the area they're in? Hmm? You want to walk into? It's actually Chernobyl. Chernobyl, yeah. <laughs> I put a rag over my mouth and I walk into the place. <laughs> uh, you put a rag and as you walk towards the gate entrance, you start to feel uh, your skin heating up from the front end. And the further you go, it essences towards your back. It's like your whole body, though, begins to heat up. Well, I have really low well constitution score, so maybe I should have... But it's a one-off! And I walk in. <laughs> uh, roll con save. Oh, shit. With disadvantage. Okay. Uh, six. Six. Uh, you walk further in, and you begin to immediately feel, like, sickly, and you start vomiting. <laughs> you drop down to one knee. You take three poison damage. I'm fine. <laughs> I've never felt better. I'll, I'll walk in, grab me a Gwen, and drag her out of it. No, I haven't explored yet. Can I, can I do an investigation check before he does that? Look yeah, around. you can. Uh, okay. With disadvantage, though, because you are really yeah. sick right now. Do I have to make a con? If you go in, yeah. I walk in. And I got 13. Natural one. Oh. 13. 13? Uh, you're just investigating one of the dead. Yeah, I'm just looking around. I want to see what else is going on around. Uh, yeah, as you're kind of like barely walking, you're more of a, more of a crawl. I vomit all around you. You still feel like vomiting here and there. You approach one of the dead bodies. and uh, Who do you work for? <laughs> <laughs> you're shaking them. They're not moving. Uh, oh, God, I don't feel so good. What? What is it you're looking for? I just want to see what happened here. Oh, um, you, and you got a, sorry, 13, 13. Well, we can just pretend it's higher. <laughs> um, you see that these people have been burned severely. The, the corpse that you're inspecting right now has been burned severely. But you're not sure the origin of it. It seems to be from fire. Okay, I'll take his gold and then uh, yeah, leave. Do another con save for me as you leave. Six again. God damn it. Uh, you take seven poison damage on your way out yes. as you begin to drop completely to a crawl and you barely get out of there. <laughs> <laughs> right at the you feet of me back. I was just going to grab her and drag her out of there. Oh! Yeah. I'll but just collapse at their feet and throw up. I got a nat one. Oh, that's right. Oh, okay, hold on. This is improv DMD, folks, so I'm just going <laughs> to see what improv happens now. <laughs> I die. <laughs> Because you're like stealing your shit. Uh, as you went to go grab... Wait a second. I'm immune to diseases. Before she oh, was yeah. falling out, you go to grab... Or are you? But I forgot. Divine health. I'm immune to diseases. Really? Yeah. Can take I have take all the back? damage back. Yeah. Uh, you oh. take no damage. Wow. Okay. That's good to know. Can I walk back in? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to walk back in. Yeah. Uh, first off, mm-hmm. as you... How do you say your name? Zanzian. Zanzian, sorry. It's all good. Zanzian, as you walk in, uh, you take three steps and immediately a piece of wall crumbles on oh top of you. Oh my god. Uh, like oh no, it looks like someone needs help! <laughs> Nephan will be like, 
seems really dangerous and it just walks forward. <laughs> <laughs> Can I use my reaction so that the falling wall has disadvantage on its attack roll? Uh, you take 21. Holy. Uh, bludgeoning Does damage from the wall caving in on The wall has disadvantage on its attack roll. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> I'll give each of you one more chance to do something quickly. Okay. Now that you see a wall has crumbled on your friend here, well, Zanzian. Calling my character, like, I have to help You can see so. his arm, like, sticking out. <laughs> I'm gonna grab his arm and, like, try and drag him out. Real Fuck. Athletics or just... Strength. <sighs> Saving throw or just straight check? Just straight strength. You're pulling him out. Fifteen. Fifteen. Easily enough. Yeah, you pull him and he kind of slides through the rubble. Um, he's not... It's not heavy rubble that's buried onto him, but it's a lot of dense, like, stone. Uh, and just, you, like, you slide him completely out. You watch his... Awesome. Right before you, his feet come out, one of the stones just kind of clamps on his foot, but then you slide it out as well. Oh, on his wrist. I'm just, like, kind of, like, drag him and then do, like, a... Whoop, and, like, I'll fling him out because I don't want him to die. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you kind of fling out and get flopped along Great. the ground. Be safe! And I'm going to walk back in because I'm immune. You have very scrapes and bruises like, on your body. I'm just lying there, like, looking up in the sky, like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what would you like to do? There, uh, I'd be standing there animals. just <laughs> watching all of this unfold. Okay. Anything you'd like to do? Uh, you would just be investigating what's happening here. Uh, could I roll a medicine check to see if I know anyways to get rid of the disease in this area. Are you getting in there? Yeah, I'm I'm inside there now, yeah. Alright, so then you have to roll con as well. Okay. If you're not immune to disease. That's a dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. Um you you feel sick and you feel the heat surrounding <laughs> your body, but you're you're you have a strong will being your rock gnome and you're holding it off just barely for now. But you can't hold it for long. Okay. And roll investigation. That's a Oh, 12. Um, effectively, you don't find much other than that most of these bodies have burns on them, but you find one body that has a bit of a similar burn that the guard had outside. Uh, you figured it's dealt to a different kind of essence, but you don't know what. Okay. And also, it's that's, not fire. is that spell scroll a one-time thing, or is it... It's a one-time thing. Okay. All right. Um, at that point... You hear another massive boom, but this time it comes from the other uh, upper level uh, rock city, the second level area. Um, and this one is like seems to be about two times larger, but the, the mist uh, disperses completely over the city and trickles down. And that is where we will end this session.